Hey guys, this is Sam, and today Apple released the fourth beta version of iOS 11 to developers. So if you're running the public beta, you're not going to see an update just yet. That'll probably come later this week on Tuesday or Wednesday, and that's when you'll be able to get your hands on all of these changes. So let's go ahead and jump in. First up, we have three refresh app icons on the home screen. Contacts, notes, and reminders have been updated. The apps themselves look pretty similar, almost identical to how they did before, but the icons did get a fresh coat of paint. And I would love to hear your thoughts on these changes changes down below. What do you think of these new app icons? They're really not massive changes and overhauls. Contacts now features a circle with uh, looks like a man and a woman in the middle. Notes just has one less line on it. And then the reminders icon sort of got inverted and flipped. So not a whole lot going on with that one. And I don't know, I feel like the reminders icon still does not fit in with the rest of iOS 11. Maybe that's just me. And of course, this is only beta 4. So my hope is that more app icon changes are going to happen in the future. In iOS 11 so far, we got new app icons for calculator, contacts, notes, reminders, app store, and iTunes. But I feel like Safari and messages and a few others are starting to look outdated just because they haven't been touched since iOS 7. Of course, there's still time for icons to change, but these were the three new ones that I wanted to highlight in iOS 11 beta 4. Now next up, if we head over to the lock screen, notifications work so much better than before. They pretty much reverted it to the behavior like in iOS 10, and it makes sense now. So when you swipe to the left, you can do a short swipe to give you the open button or a long swipe from left to right to just go straight into the app. It, it just works. It makes so much sense. And if you do the opposite action, so swiping from right to left, you get the view and clear buttons just like you did in iOS 10. Being able to swipe left or right and view these actions is so much better than what we had in iOS 11 beta 3. Also new with notifications is that when you're on the lock screen and you tap to view a notification like that, it's going to give you this new UI on Touch ID enabled devices that says Touch ID to open this app. Now you can also tap use passcode if you just want to enter your passcode, but it looks quite a bit different than it did before, and I think it's a pretty good looking change. If we head over to Control Center, two toggles got some animation updates that look a lot better than before too. So screen recording is going to give you a countdown in addition to showing you this new pulsating UI while you are recording. Before it didn't really move and just stayed still, but I think this looks really nice. And low power modes animation is just incredible. Like it's a very small update, but seeing the battery go full yellow and then go back down is a nice touch. And it's one of those changes in iOS 11 that you're probably gonna be interacting with a lot if you're like me and tend to enable low power mode way more often than you probably should. But two new updates there that I'm a big fan of. Next up, both the Notes and Photos apps in iOS 11 beta 4 got some updated launch screens. It's interesting that while both are stock apps, they look totally different. So Notes is very bold and colorful and follows the iOS 11 design language with pretty good looking icons on the left of the text. And then you go into photos and the icons are black and white, barely any color on the screen, not really much bold, and feels like something from iOS 7 or iOS 8. So I'm sure the photo screen will be updated in later iOS 11 betas, but right now it looks really out of place. If you head over to settings and general, there's a new preference panel just dedicated to AirDrop. I think the only way to access these AirDrop settings before iOS 11 beta 4 was just straight through Control Center. Now there is a dedicated tab in the settings app for receiving off, contacts only, or airdropping with everyone. Also new in iOS 11 beta 4, if you head over to the keyboard preference panel, is a new keyboard for Najdi Arabic, so speakers of that dialect can now type in it as well. Moving on, if you're one of those people that always likes to close their apps in the app switcher, when you delete the last one in iOS 11 beta 4, the app switcher will automatically close and kick you back to the home screen, and if you try to launch the app switcher while there's nothing in it and you've deleted all the apps from it, it's just going to kick you back to the home screen and you get this animation, which is kind of weird but also a behavior that makes sense. Now one thing that we haven't seen throughout the iOS 11 beta cycle yet is new emojis or new wallpapers. While Apple did preview around 12 of the new emojis coming later in 2017, they have yet to confirm whether those will be included in iOS 11 when it launches this fall or whether it's going to come in a later update like iOS 11.1 or iOS 11.2 before the close of 2017. I really hope that we see new wallpapers later, but Apple has not really given us any indication or hint for sure that some are coming, but I'm optimistic and I, I think we might end up seeing some. One last thing that I want to touch on is performance in iOS 11 beta 4. This is something that a lot of people are always interested in and I can't give you the most accurate representation ever just because I've only used iOS 11 beta 4, well, as long as most of you have for just a couple of hours. But I will say it feels more stable than iOS 11 beta 3. Um, it crashed a lot when I was running beta 3 
It's only crashed once so far on beta 4, but of course that's just in the short time that I've used it. I would say if you're, if you're thinking about putting this on your main device, of course, be careful because it's still a beta and some apps aren't going to work. But a lot of the issues that I was having with apps not launching or force quitting have been corrected, and I think that iOS 11 beta 4 is definitely a really good step in the right direction. It's not perfect and the bugs and issues have not been fixed completely, but it is better than iOS 11 beta 3. And while it's not a whole lot faster than iOS 11 beta 3, I can testify to the fact that it does feel more stable. For a full list of these changes, make sure to visit the very first link down below in the description where I have these in text form over on my website and I'll be updating that if any new changes are discovered. And if you want to see more videos on future iOS 11 betas and iOS 11 in general, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit like if you enjoyed the video because as always, it would really help me out. I've been Sam, I hope you guys are doing great and I'll talk to you later.